Okay, now into couples therapy. Do you find it hard being in a relationship in when tension arises for somebody that's been together for five years? Like, how do you get past that? I usually like to address it. Just communicate. That's boring. (laughs) Can you make something up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I being gaslit? What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 145 of Dropouts. Um, Our views have been down recently, so we brought brought in the money makers, huh? To see how low it could get. (laughs) The money. We got Heath and Mariah here. Trying to bottom it out one last time. Listen, Jared knows a lot about being a bottom. Let's hit some intro music. Holy hell. (laughs) This is the time we can all take a break. That was beautiful. It's, <laughs> it's so nice to have genuine friends in my life like you two. <laughs> we literally came here and talked for an hour and a half before this. Yeah, we had a whole podcast before this. And, and it had the cameras rolling. I know. It couldn't have been more interesting. <laughs> that, was, that was all the shit that people actually want to hear. We called a lot of people out. Um, so you guys are in love or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Are we your first couple? No, we had okay. we had Jeremy and Lauren, and we also oh. had a couple on this podcast that didn't <laughs> divulge it for a long time. <laughs> Who was that again? But but every episode title was clickbait. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, we did. Who was the couple we had? Jeremy and Lauren. Oh, they've got what two weeks left? Come on, <laughs> they just no, got they're, engaged. They're literally getting married. <laughs> Do you guys think you're going to outlast them in love, though? Come on, I think we're going to outlast everybody at love. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I, I, I you third know why? <laughs> Because there's no such thing as divorce. What? You should talk to my mom. She's done it twice. <laughs> <laughs> She's really good at it. Yeah, she. I don't think she knows there's anything but divorce so far, which is a little sad. Oh, man. Guys, that's a downer. But you guys' parents are both together? Yeah. yeah. So you guys know nothing but a stable home. Yeah, well, we, we, only, that's have, a good we only have one Christmas. Oh. Yeah, two Christmases. <laughs> <laughs> we can sit in silence. We don't care. <laughs> I thought, I thought you were going to follow that up. I, Dude, thought, guys, I thought you were going to say something. No, the whole point is we bring you guys on this podcast. And oh, oh, it's it's for you to take a break and have other yes. people talk. You, 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 guys have a, you guys have a podcast. Just start talking like it's your podcast and then we get to put it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. It's Jared amazing. Jared, of all people, should know that we are we should not have a podcast. We are not as I good as people think. I honestly feel so bad for you. The editing <laughs> truly makes it. Oh, no, it's fun. It's it's all good. It just takes you how guys. Many ba- how many bathroom breaks do they take? <laughs> Right, you don't gotta put us out there. <laughs> you have a peeing problem too. I do have a no, urination issue. No, it's not the issue. peeing problem. Uh, yes, it's the peeing problem, but it's, but you all take the breaks because we don't know what to talk about. So we're like, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> That's what. But it we is. all we we don't instead of taking it all at once where we all go, we split it up so there's <laughs> one per person. More do you want to do the catheter thing with me? I don't think I can. If you if it's really that much of a problem, uh, we gotta get that thing cathetered. Well, my grandpa had it, and once he got off of it, it like messed him up what was he on well he had a a catheter in for i think it was like six months oh no 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 we're constantly this is just a test oh i've talked about in the podcast before remember i I went in and i got my well you you peed in the jug and then kept it in the fridge i remember that that was different and then you drink it that was a weird time (laughs) i didn't (laughs) drink house uh my my friend actually got really mad because i brought on my vacation skylar and uh that was during my peeing in a jar stage. Mm. So like we shared a room and in the middle of the night, I would just get up like eight times and pee in this right next to him. And, and um, <laughs> you wouldn't leave the room. You would pee in the jug while he's sleeping oh, next to you. Does best friend mean nothing to you? I know you've never had someone close to you in your entire life, but we're, we're close I, to him. I don't think I want anyone close enough to no, no, pee no, in the guys, same room as me. Jared, they're close to you. I would let you. What's his middle name, Mariah? It's not that I wouldn't let you pee next to me. I just would prefer (laughs) you not. Did you say Jose? (laughs) What? Can I get? Do you have a middle name? There we go. Uh, I say another close. I do have a middle name. It's Um, Bear. Jared. Jared Bear. (laughs) That's cute. Jared. Michael. Nope. I'm very close though. (laughs) It's it's like an androgynous name. Could be guy. Could be girl. It was actually supposed to be my name if I was a girl. Mariah. Taylor. Alex. Taylor. There we go. Don't act like you're like knew that. Well, it <laughs> and we're a bell. really close. I needed a hint and then I remembered. So, since Jared it- is um, <laughs> your guys' editor, do you feel like you have to keep up this fake friendship around him or else he'll look Absolutely. for another job since he's done a good job? Because it's hard to find an editor for a podcast. Yeah. We're not allowed to say. I'm honestly, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm terrified that he's going to be like, I don't need the money anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. I did ask him. I was like, 
if you ever okay jared how would you tell them that you can't edit their podcast anymore i don't think i could i think, <laughs> I think we're you're both stuck, stuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah you're stuck like that's the thing he's gonna it's be like, winning a grammy and she'll be like oh i've got a um, sorry guys hold on. Well, I, gotta, I gotta we transfer hey, this real quick thank you so much uh i have to get home <laughs> unfiltered comes out on tuesday <laughs> he just like uh the down, the the upload didn't work can you please send it again <laughs> every day we 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 have a little panic. We're like, what if he quits one day? Like, what would we do? We've actually had conversations about that. What Are would we do? Yeah, yeah, it'd probably yeah, yeah. it'd probably end. You're, <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. the only thing keeping the ship yeah. going. Jared, this is called leverage. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Use it. What do you want in life? Um, you got it. <laughs> Jared. Perfect. It's a good guy right there. Money. My, I get money for the podcast. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Can you guys bring me on in some capacity? Um, I think I think we try to. What? Oh yeah, they they did talk to you about. Being yeah, you like turned the, us down. I'm glad I did. <laughs> <laughs> See how much this guy works. <laughs> so glad I did. Um, what's been going on in your guys' lives besides being in love? Uh, we just got back from Japan. We did get back from Japan. That's. Um, I'm so jealous. How you would love was it, it? How was it? Tell it was me amazing. everything. It was amazing. It was okay. Tell me everything. Tell me <laughs> they have a podcast. <laughs> you know when you get a guest on and they're like, "Tell us about your day." Really good, and then you go. So what happened? Like a lot of stuff. I was really busy. <laughs> Didn't you just edit that episode? I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was really, it was probably one of the best places we've ever been to, right? Yeah. Uh, Japan and Italy, I think were yeah, the top. top two. And then out of the people, if you could never see one of them again, who would it be? Italians or Japanese? Japanese. People. Yeah. Oh man, Mariah's going to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the Japanese were just so friendly. Uh oh. And really? you're that Italian? Oh, it, it doesn't were, seem like it based on the teeth. <laughs> I had an easier time communicating in Japan. <laughs> they all knew English. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? I was going to ask what the, how like the language barrier was. It was so easy. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um, so English is their secondary language. Okay. So that makes sense. Most of the time, if we went somewhere, they were speaking English. Mm -hmm. um, and if they didn't, they had a, they all had translators. Really? And they would just quickly so just show us their prepared. phone. It was yeah. like a little Tamagotchi thing and they would speak into it oh, and then it would say it in English and then we would talk into it and then it would say it to them in Japanese. Whoa. And they are the most patient people I've ever met in my entire yeah, life. The really? entire population. So patient with people. And just everything out of their mouth was, I'm sorry and thank you. Oh, just wow. Very polite. Yeah, Alyssa, very are you polite. Japanese? Oh, she's That's exactly what you do. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. A little bit. Oh, how much? None. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, create a bit. Zach will fire me. <laughs> do you worry about your job security? Yeah. <laughs> As you should. <laughs> well, that's keep, keep them it's in okay. fear. I'm, yeah. I'm waiting for her to leave so I can snatch her. <laughs> what, what would you ever do? Do what? Keep tabs on Jordan's car. <laughs> oh, dude. yeah. I would, have, I would have her take care of Jordan. <laughs> so it's not us. Okay. So Jordan is, I feel like we're collectively babysitting his entire life. I feel like he likes it. Oh, he loves yeah, it. Oh, he, he loves, loves it. it. For, yeah. for I think he knew Jor Jordan is um, our assistant and a good friend of mine from high school. He uh, he moved out here to LA about He's truly uh, just one over of a year kind. ago. Oh my God, he's the best. One of a kind. Never You'll met anyone like never, him. Never, and you never will. Mm -mm. Like when you see him, you just smile. Like he just makes you happy. Yeah. Like he's just, he is the epitome of like a bundle of joy, yeah. you know, yeah. and like innocence. Yeah. Innocent, just high energy. Yeah. Um, but we were talking about this before. He, uh, he lost his card this morning. He thought it got <laughs> stolen. And um, <laughs> I knew when you told me, you're like, hey, he thinks he lost his car. I knew that he didn't. Like it's like, there's no, <laughs> right. like my first reaction right. was, it's not stolen, but <laughs> so, yeah. So he calls me like on the verge of tears. He's like, my car got stolen. It's not out front. And I'm like, well, I don't think it got stolen. It might've gotten towed. I was like, let's call some tow companies and see yeah. if, you know, it got impounded or whatever it is. Cause you've had um, some problems with like yeah, neighbors had, like, and stuff. Yeah. About the, they don't like us that much. I don't uh, crazy. Why don't your neighbors like you? They're old Toluca people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's a little little ornery, but they're fine. Um, Leave it there. <laughs> but I was like, we're 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 gonna find it. Like we'll call the tow companies and see what happens. And uh, he's like, okay, okay, good idea. I go see him like five minutes later. I was like, did you call? He's like, no, I was just talking to my mom. <laughs> I was like, call. We gotta find your car. And he's like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I see him like a minute later. I'm like, did you call the tow company? He's like, no, I just got off with the police. <laughs> Like, oh my god! Like, uh, zero like, to a hundred. It's, it's stolen. I was like, well, hold on. Let's let's 
you know, backtrack, backtrack a bit. I called Zane cause Zane was parked out front and he's got the Tesla. So you can like go in and see the security camera. I'm like, can you check and see if his car was behind you? Um, and like what time it was missing. So we narrowed it down to this window and the window was him dropping me off at Zane's. And then for the next four hours is when it would have been stolen. So pretty small window, Tiny. relatively. Right. Middle, middle of the day. Middle of the day. Yeah. <laughs> in the safest neighborhood in Los Angeles. And, <laughs> and uh, I'm like, okay, I, there's no way it's stolen. You can't really steal them. It's like keyless entry. You can't hotwire the Subaru. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, uh, let's retrace our steps here. I was like, he dropped me off and then he went and got food and then he was home all day. Okay. So somewhere in between that. And I'm like, Jordan, uh, you went and got food after you dropped me off. Where did you eat? He's like, oh, Takaya. I'm like- <laughs> Which is on like on literally our block. A, a turn away, <laughs> and I'm like, did you drive there or did you walk? I walked. I'm like, okay, um, which wasn't a lie. <laughs> <laughs> so Entirely. so I'm sitting there thinking about it, and I was like, how much you want to bet? He drove to Takaya, forgot that he drove, and then walked home. <laughs> and Mariah was like, no, he wouldn't do that. I'm Wait, like, because <laughs> like any sane, <laughs> rational, yeah. Like, yeah. any sane, rational for like thinking would be. It's just impossible to comprehend you forgetting that you drove somewhere. Yeah. So uh, we go to walk outside. I was like, let's just go drive there real quick and see if his car is there. Uh, we go walk outside and he's sitting on his knees <laughs> talking to an officer. In the street. This whole like interrogation about like this missing car. <laughs> so he's just sitting here like this. He's like, it's gone. <laughs> uh, so we, we drive down the street real quick. Sure enough, it's sitting in the parking lot. Oh my God. I come back and I pulled him aside. I was like, Jordan. And I showed him a picture of his car. And he said, where, where is it? I was like, you left it at Takaya. And he's like, oh my God. Um, and then the officer's like, see, I told you it wasn't stolen. You probably just misplaced it. Uh, but yeah, that was, that was our whole morning. How do you mis misplace a car? A car? You know, my dad misplaced I've me. Done like it. it can happen. You've done it? Yeah, I've done it. How did you do it? I was in Philly. And I had, uh, I was shooting for like this dance show or oh, whatever. Here we go. What so was the dance it show? Was, <laughs> it was like a 15 hour day. So I parked my car really quick, went inside. 15 hours later, I walk outside to get my car and it's dark, Philly, scary. So okay. I'm walking around, but I don't want to go too far. And I, I even took, I always take a picture of my car where it's parked. And of course, I remember like the background was like not focused, so I couldn't read the street sign. Oh God. And I was like, shit, where is my car? <laughs> and this is before like I had an iPhone, like this was just like, I couldn't track it or anything. So I'm walking around for at least like two hours by myself and it's dark and there's like- And a, it's Philly. <laughs> and there's a, a cop like on the corner. So I was like, this is so embarrassing. And I was like 19, so I started crying because I was just so scared. And I was like, this is so embarrassing, but I misplaced my car. Because <laughs> I'm like, there's no way it got towed because I'm too scared to park somewhere where it could get towed. So it, no, I, I parked in a, in a good spot. <laughs> And the guy was like, yeah, sure. So they drove around for like 30 minutes and they were like, we don't, we don't see it anywhere. And I was like, I'm pretty sure it's on this street. And I, they go, go sit in the Johnny Rockets. Um, so I sat in there and I'm like having a milkshake and fries and <laughs> crying because I'm like, we live um, like 45 minutes from Philly. So I was scared oh, to like God. call my parents to be like, can you help me look for my car? Like, I don't know what to do. And I don't want to walk the streets of Philly by myself. So I ended up calling them and I was like, I'm in the Johnny Rockets and I lost it and I can't find it. <laughs> so my dad was like, oh my God. And it was late. We finished shooting at like 2 a.m. Oh my God. Oh and that, yeah, that call to your parents scary. at 2 a.m. just right. regardless. Right, if they were already panicking. And then when my mom picks up the phone and I'm crying, she's like, what, <gasps> what? Yeah, she thinks so you're she shot panicking. in the yeah. hospital. So they, they show up and my, of course, my dad found the car. Immediately. Um, it was on the right block. I just had to go a little bit further, but ah. I was too scared to go further. So I stopped like three cars away <laughs> and it wasn't, and my battery was low. So it wasn't like beeping and it like didn't reach that far. So I had to get really close to it and I found it. So Jordan, I get it. It happens. <laughs> you got it. You got to do the under the chin click. This was this was like two thousand. Does that work? Like, oh my god, yes. Is that a real thing? Yeah, your was, head works as like an antenna, it's and, like, it, and it shoots sonar. it shoots it further. I did, I always just thought that was like a meme or something, just for no. like people to look stupid. It's like pretend you're shaking salt in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what, what do you mean? Huh? I don't know. Just pretend you're shaking salt in your mouth. Okay. 
<laughs> <He's salt laid laughs> what were you thinking? Oh, uh, no, that was pretty much spot on. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. That's the you joke. Look stupid. I do? How stupid? You did it. Really stupid. Like, will the internet will but make fun of me enough salty? and I'll have to kill you look myself? Stupid. That's stupid. No, no. I'm telling stupid. everyone. Okay, so back to Japan, though. Yeah. Oh, Jared. <gasps> yes. Okay, so what. What what was the atmosphere like? Is it is clean. it clean? Really, Dude, everything is spotless. The subway clean. system, all the trains. It's just one word to describe it was just happiness. Ooh. Everybody was smiling. Yeah. Everybody was dressed really cool. So Zane was trying to snap pictures of people's outfits, but they started noticing, and they didn't. They were just like, I heard it. I, I heard it's like Manhattan if Manhattan had a maid. Yes. Yeah. Oh. It is <laughs> okay. Tokyo. I felt like I was in Manhattan, except nothing was in English. And then Kyoto was more historical Japan. I felt like I was in Japan. Oh, but cool. yeah. for a city with no garbage cans, it oh, was yeah. spot. There wasn't gum on the ground, a napkin, nothing. That I I can't I can't even picture what that looks like. There's no have. garbage cans. It doesn't smell. Where, nothing. Where, do they just take the trash with them? Yeah. Yes, everyone puts it in their bag and they wait till they get home. But like. Why? Pack in, pack though? out. Like I, I get like, you know, having a, a clean city, but I feel like having garbage cans everywhere I would. No, I so, don't know. I think they just, re just respect. It's just- So yeah. part, part of their culture is you don't like eat on the go. You don't oh. walk around snacking. You don't walk around holding a drink and eat. Like <laughs> if you go somewhere, you want to get a coffee, you go to the coffee shop, you have your coffee. You sit down. And they have a trash at the coffee shop. Okay, yeah. So you enjoy but it's this and big. then go. <laughs> like every trash can, we're trying to shove it into this little thing on the ground. It's like- they're like the size of like a bathroom trash can. Oh, where they're it's all like, so tiny. Yeah. Um, another cool thing was everywhere we went. So it was raining the whole trip and every single store you walk into has like this sleeve and you slide your umbrella into it and then pull it out and it puts a plastic tube like over your umbrella. Oh, that's so you don't so get water dripping. everywhere when you walk around. That's and genius. Like, so smart. And what's so funny is we were talking about this umbrella invention. We were like, it's just so simple. It's such yeah. a simple thing people can have in the States, but we just don't. I went to Yard House yesterday and they had one at the front door. Really? And I took a pic and it looked brand new. It was chrome. There were no fingerprints on it, no scratches. It looks like they, it looks like they listened to our podcast. And like, <laughs> we should <laughs> probably get one. But God, we're so stupid. People thought it was a garbage can. So there's oh. just trash in it. They were throwing trash But it's this it. thin. No one questioned why it's like, like this thin. It's shit. the size of an umbrella closed. Oh my God. And there's just garbage. That's why we don't have nice things here. Uh, yeah, I was going to say because we're fucking idiots. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to airdrop that to you if you want a picture of it, Jared. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Kyoto was really cool because it it felt very old, historic Japan. So the it was pictures. It was nice to see insane. like insane. Yeah. Oh my god, it was stunning. And like it was, you, I feel like you guys went at a perfect time where it's like spring yeah. and like everything. Cher cherry yeah, it's the most were, popular time to go. Right. We're the 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 most blooming right now. Did you see a lot of tourists there? Yes and no. Yeah, Tokyo. Yeah, Kyoto was more. Local. Kyoto was yeah, um, was but it was packed. Everywhere, it's like they just appreciate. Like, yeah. you know, we're like, I'm not gonna go to Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, well, they because they, I, I just don't like any shame. Because it's filthy and <laughs> yeah. scary. Yeah. yeah. That I don't was like heroin thing. needles in my eyes. Right, so. we <laughs> felt safe all throughout the night. It could have been 4 a.m. and we, we wouldn't, wouldn't be afraid to like walk out. Which that I find is like so rare when you're visiting someplace else that is so like foreign to yeah. you, especially yeah. where it's like, like you, a you don't speak the language, but it's not like uh, like Italy or something or European countries or whatever where you have recognizable letters and you might be able to sound something out, right. you know, figure out. You can't make it up. Uh, yeah, like I was looking at the pictures that you were posting. I was like, I was looking at all these signs, and there's not even like a small like English description. No. I was like, where did you even? Yeah, nothing. How did you figure this out? It, what was really funny was. Um, they obviously pronounce American things different. Mm -hmm. uh, so we were staying at the Hilton Hotel. <laughs> okay. And every cab that we were getting into, they're like, where are we going? Like, they would just be like, like, where, where to? And I would be like, Hilton, Hilton yeah. Hotel. And they were like, what? <laughs> I was like, Hilton Hotel. <laughs> and they were like, I, can you sh like show me? So I would pull it up on the map and I'd, I'd point it at like where it is. And he's like, oh, Hilton. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. yeah, but to me, like, I like Hiddleton. Hiddleton, <laughs> Hiddleton sounds the same, but to them, like, it's it's com it's completely different. So then yeah. he just started saying it with that little accent, and yeah. they're like, okay. And like every like 
there's a lot of English words there. Okay. Um, but they just have like their like accent on it. Yeah. Gotcha. So like they have a, a Bic camera store. All right. Um, but it's Bica Camera. <laughs> it's very, very similar. But if you say Bic camera, they, they, it's, it's almost like they will like our pauses in our words, like kind of confuse it where it's like yeah. Bic camera where they go Bic a camera or yeah. whatever, yes. you know, yeah, yeah, well, they yeah. say English is what one of the hardest languages to learn. Yeah. Apparently look at, and look, look at, at me. Us. I did it. I, I we gotta, be, time we gotta be kind of, I did it when I was a baby. If me and Zane can do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, Zane, um, Zane sometimes, uh, <laughs> sometimes he's like, wait. Honestly, I feel like he'd be better at Japanese. There was I, actually, I, like probably, yeah. I downloaded the Google Translate app just thinking I would just uh, type in what I wanted to say and show people like, where do I eat? Where do I do this? But then I went to look up what was around me and I was like, I can't, I can't type in what it says because you're right. They're just like symbols to yeah. us. They're not the alphabet that we know. So on Google Translate, there's you can open your camera and just hover it over something and it changes it to it, English. In That's real time. You can crazy. do this. It's live. Wow. So you just pick up your camera and scan it and it'll say what it is. Dude, that's like the future, right? Yeah. Just like look around, it it's amazing. just like down with America, down with America. <laughs> burn, burn. <laughs> it's crazy to me how nice they were to us considering the like the past. Yeah, the atomic bomb. They're just good, they're just good like, people. I don't know. Did you guys apologize for that while you're over there? Multiple times. I, I definitely thought about it a few times. Like, I'm sorry. That is like a, a strange thing. Cause I mean, there's one thing like with Germany, they did like a complete overhaul of their like culture and stuff. Right. And we went to war with them and now things are fine. But like we, we dropped yeah. atomic bombs. It's really bad on this country. Two they times. Just, and they don't hold grudges. <laughs> they're like they're they're literally they're, perfect. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're bigger people than us. Yeah, that's, much bigger. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, and it's 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 really funny seeing um English sayings on clothing out there because <gasps> oh, yes. it's it's like uh it's almost there but it's not quite <laughs> right and because uh -huh. it's not their native language so they don't yeah. know. Um so you know like the proof is in the pudding. Okay. So this girl was wearing a t-shirt. It said the proof of the pudding, <laughs> like on the just weird things like that. And I'm like, it's so close, but like, or it's a bunch of no, like that's a, live, that's laugh, a feminist love. Shirt. And it's what? almost That's a feminist there. shirt about discharge. Oh God. Jared, it's not disgusting. It's a woman's body. Keep on going. So sorry. <laughs> that was really that's my fault. That's, but they do say when we have clothes that have like Chinese or Japanese. Ours, they, are, wrong. ours are wrong. Yeah. They say yeah. that doesn't even make sense. It was, I, I wish we took pictures of every example because it was very much like live, laugh, love. Yeah. Or like live your life to the fullest, dance after the rain. Like it was just like- <laughs> I like that one. It, yeah, that well, one's I, Okay, nice. that was, that was actually, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think, I'm trying to make, I can't even make Maybe they're up. just making more uh, English <laughs> sense than us. Right. Uh, a lot of it was just words together. Like, like what? It would be like, uh, just like a t-shirt with like some logo and it would be like strawberry table. And yeah. you'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> what a brand. Uh, they're, they're obsessed with strawberries there. Yeah, Everything. They love really? Everything is strawberries. Why? I don't know. Do they grow strawberries there? Like, is that, or is they that like. Have, I think they have like one of the most expensive strawberries there. Yeah. Like they have um, fruit that is like hundreds of dollars. Oh, they, wow. Uh, what is it? It was like a, a $300 like mango or something. Yes, David had it, right? Yeah. Oh my of God. Course David had it. That guy gets everything. <laughs> Speaking of the food, though, how was that? How was authentic Japanese cuisine? Oh, God. Oh, I know. What? We ate pizza. <laughs> we, had, we had Italian. Oh my God. We had McDonald's. We had McDonald's. How, um, how was, was McDonald's any different? Banging. Yeah. Really? Dude, the char on the burger, it tastes like you, you could taste the seasoning on it. They actually had seasoning. On yes, it. like the patty had flavor, um, but I got. <laughs> she's gonna throw up. Wait, uh, it, was, it was my first time eating McDonald's ever. Her ever in her life. There, it's not a joke. I no forgot way. that you. Yeah, you've got a weird life. Yeah. Wait. Thank you so much. <laughs> what? Why did you never have fast food? Like your family loved you. My parents. <laughs> okay, I get like we weren't allowed. I get like oh, growing period. up, your parents don't let you. But you've been an adult for quite some time. I know. I just never was interested. 
Have you guys not done a segment on your on the podcast? It's like try this staple of food. I feel like. Well, we did on his channel. You had yeah. to try Taco Bell for the first time. Yeah, holy. Yeah. Alyssa, can you, while we're doing this podcast, can you go pick up a Popeye chicken sandwich? No, ew. <laughs> <laughs> no, ew. First she, of all, she also gets like uh, grossed out with food easily, especially like meats. Yeah. Okay. okay. Name, Cause, a, cause name a couple. The bullets. The bullets. <laughs> the bullets? Were you, you know, shooting you, them in the back? You know, <laughs> I love it. You when know, I was little. <laughs> you know when you eat like a, like a piece of a steak or like a hamburger, like a school hamburger, you'd always get like a- Like, like a, a hard, hard piece. Baby. A little oh, grizzle? Like a, oh, what? But like hard. Yeah. Oh, or like, yeah. Or like, like where when you you're eating a chicken it, wing. And, and you like it, spit it. You're like, like It feels Ugh. like a little bit of a yeah. bone or something. Yeah. Yeah. I at When I was really little, I thought it was the bullet that killed the animal. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I still call it bullets, but I know they're, I know I'm aware they're not. <laughs> okay. I so I heard that right. I was like, this is, I got the one that the, killed the animal. The bullets. Ooh, a 22. <laughs> <laughs> but I was thinking bullets as in like the, the, BB guns, yeah. like that's how I imagine. Like it. little BBs. <laughs> I don't know. You just thought they just sprayed them like <laughs> after war crimes yeah, and then served them know. to the youth of America. <laughs> just going out there with buck shots. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? Uh, but yeah, so the the McDonald's burger that I got, it was the patty was covered in teriyaki sauce. <laughs> oh, that actually. And then it had good. a slab of cheese. It had teriyaki and cheese. I'm gonna you know order the, something. You know the <laughs> over hard egg that come with like a McMuffin. Oh yeah, like yeah. that egg patty. Uh huh. An egg patty on top. Okay. Then there was like this slab of extra wide bacon. It was like kind of like ham almost. Okay, so like Canadian bacon, kind of, but, but more on the bacon side. Yeah. Okay. And then lettuce, and then on top of that was egg salad. They had they had double egg. egg. <laughs> what the fuck? Double egg. I don't know why. Egg salad. I mean, in the, and in this egg crisis, that's wild. That's I think it was a, a flex. Oh, that's like, <laughs> yeah, we've got our own. We've got yeah. so much uh, eggs. We could double the egg on a burger. We could export it to America if we wanted to. But export. We're not gonna. Export it. Nice. Thanks, Mariah. <laughs> she goes, like, Alyssa, hit the button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, there we go. Damn, we need that. Oh, that. man. If Jordan, I w- Jordan doesn't even play our theme song. We're like, play the song and it, it'll play. <laughs> Have you noticed? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. When the price is right, it comes on yeah, over the- top of your <laughs> intro. They all play at the same time. What could you possibly The button hit? for the song is this big, <laughs> and there's six of them. How you press two of those, <laughs> unless you're fucking. It's like he's just. <laughs> he's worried about his car. It's lost. <laughs> it's what? Lost. What episode number are you guys on? 174. Yeah. So you I guys just passed the three year mark? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Do you. Uh, just stress out about what to talk about? Like, are you yeah, just- Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, we definitely think about what we're gonna talk about. How uh, egotistical is, is it of all of us? It's like, I assume every single week for the rest of your guys' lives, you want to hear us talk for an hour. Right. <laughs> and it like, does help going on a trip. Yeah. Like, oh, it, we can stretch that out into it's, like- It's the best thing, episodes. especially like business-wise, like for your podcast is to go on a trip and you'll, you will come back with stories and actually have life experience. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's like, a, it's a like a win win. Yeah. It's like a vacation and work at the same time. And it's, it's a all a write off. Exactly. No, that's or game in the system. Yeah. We got to go on more trips. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. yeah. It is crazy though. I started editing for you guys on episode one Oh two. What? Wow. Yeah. I've been with you guys for 72 oh my weeks. Gosh. Isn't that insane? I get Please very, don't leave. I get very <laughs> uncomfortable. See, I get nervous because I know what a pain in the ass it is to edit it yeah. from beginning to end, it's, like from scratch. I, I tell you guys this all the time. At least you guys are funny. Like if it was just a mind numbing podcast, <laughs> <laughs> like if it was to anybody else, I was just like, th- if like it was a hours, political, like, could you imagine? Oh my God. I, yeah, I would have <laughs> left at one Oh four, you know, <laughs> but like you guys are actually funny. <laughs> it's, but I was laughing at this most recent one that's going to come out at the same day. Uh, you guys are talking about your Japan trip, and we got to beat him to it. Wait, do his stars come out first? It does. Hell yeah. um, Unfiltered Japan trip uh, <laughs> first leak. <laughs> you guys are um, fifty-seven minutes into the podcast, and you go, "All right, so let's talk about day one." <laughs> and you think, oh, <laughs> you think an you've been hour? talking about it the entire time. Funny. Damn. We're so bad. And then you, but like, what do we even talk about? 
<laughs> we just talk, we just ramble. Do you ever get nervous that it's like, I mean, eventually you'll be like, I, I'm done with the podcast. Like I have to do my own thing and then they'll never talk to you again. Does it ever cross your mind? Yeah, sometimes. Do you want to get some reassurance while you're here? We're not going to leave you. <laughs> okay, thank you. I mean, clearly <laughs> we're not going to hang us. out as much, but it makes no. you feel better, right? It does. It's I mean, it, it, has, it has been something he's brought up to me before in do you, private. Do you vet to him about losing us as a friend? Once. <laughs> <laughs> he was probably drunk. <laughs> yeah, I just probably. really like hanging out with a man. I think they think my favorite color is purple. <laughs> Dude, Jared drunk. <laughs> oh, it's the best. You get really good content out of that. It's the. It depends on. It's sometimes it's the best. Before he's always he's been really angry since he's been going out recently, and then oh, he gets drunk no. and he has a good time. So I think you're oh. starting to develop a little bit of an issue. Well, no, <laughs> no, I just like I'm going through this phase right now where like <laughs> before. All I ever wanted to do was like go and hang out with people. And then it was like um, we had that that party the other night to go to. And I was just like, sorry, the, the, our, our dog. Um, <laughs> oh, is he making noise again? No, he farted. Oh. No, he's making smell. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 4D experience. Um, but uh, we had the party to go to. And I was like, the last thing I want to do right now is go out. Like, d just let me stay in. And Alyssa is the one that always pressures me. She's like, you know, you always have fun when you go out. Alyssa. Because well, he you are bad influence. has FOMO. And so I know he'll enjoy it oh, when he goes. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. the act of like going and getting up. Oh, I'll take taking yeah. Alyssa anywhere. The amount of times in the night. Um, You guys know that I'm only here because people invited you and you invited me, right? <laughs> You want me here, you know that, right? I'm like, they want you here. Well, probably not. <laughs> anyway, I'm probably just gonna sit in the corner and uh, stare at people. And they're think I'm weird anyway because I'm too nervous to bring up conversation. Whatever. Do you think Mariah actually likes me? <laughs> I, think I think she does. She does. Yeah. I Rumor has it. I've been told. I've, I've heard it. You know, we're both Italian, which I thought was pretty cool, and we kind of bond on that. That's all. I'm just, I told Heath that too. I was like, she's Italian. She's small. <laughs> you are small. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> no, like, it, you're really small. <laughs> well, yeah, you, that's, that's not an M. <laughs> that's just a fact. She's the same height as Heat's mom. Really? really? Yeah. We should get them together and do a photo shoot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My mom doing a photo shoot. They're just. I, I like the idea of just the most obscure calendars. <laughs> like of a. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. should have done that. Um, for somebody for like April Fool's Day or their birthday where oh, we invite fun. their entire family somewhere and we like do a calendar with their family and they're just like. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Uh, the one Zane has up in his uh, kitchen. Chelsea. Oh my Chelsea God. Is so funny. So good. <laughs> I cannot believe she sold those. That is just, that's amazing. That's a shock when you walk into that mm -hmm. kitchen, though. It catches you off guard. <laughs> yeah, because you forget about it. You forget yeah. that it's there and then it just, it slaps you in the face. You guys <laughs> thought about hopping on the OnlyFans train? No. Never. Okay. Um, <laughs> next question. Um, Have you? We should start one. No. Have you? Why? No. Why did we get the response? Oh, could, because you know I'm trying to make it interesting. Um, <laughs> uh, we should start like a rival to OnlyFans where you're just you're showing. You should be showing a little more. Like we don't even know who this is. You know. You're, you're saying show more than. Like, like we're so we're so covered up oh, in our body. Oh, yeah, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just completely in the opposite direction. Yeah. Okay. It's like a. Or could we start an OnlyFans? But what what could we post if it? It's like well, oh, go to my only, OnlyFans. OnlyFans isn't like it wasn't meant to be a porn subscription. Yes. What's it meant for? It was supposed to remember? be like Patreon. Yeah. Weren't, weren't you, people teaching dance classes? Well, no, people told me. <laughs> That's I tell my manager too, at the time told me day. I should do dance tutorials on OnlyFans. <laughs> so I looked into it and then it had this reputation of nudes and I'm like, I'm yeah. not going to have that in my bio. Imagine the disappointment of somebody paying for your dancing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, all right, kids, and uh, we're going to be doing a three. Yeah, could you imagine? <laughs> I just hear Jared from her, his room. It was a scam. <laughs> <laughs> no, She's just bitch. dancing. Do you remember OnlyFans reached out to us to I mean, start Jared, posting content? They heard we, no they heard we got it. They heard yeah. we got it. It, no it's going way. Around. Yeah, they emailed us and they're like, hey, Beanstalk we're, boys. we're really trying to like change our brand image. Would you guys want to start posting exclusive content on there? And we just get more gross. <laughs> <laughs> we're just like, you guys have gone too far. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, let's start. Let's get a little bit wholesome. These are our wholesome friends. Yeah, they're really steering that the wrong way. Yeah, they're disgusting. Oh, oh. okay. We're the issue oh, here. All right. Speaking of issues. Is that gaslighting? You guys have any? Huh? That was gaslighting, right? What? 
What he did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yo, okay. yeah. For sure. I can't, oh, yeah. I can't define it, but I think I can pick it up in this scenario. <laughs> oh, no, that guy did it. <laughs> right, there it is. We've been trying to figure it out. <laughs> That's an example. I've been trying to find what Riz is. Oh, yeah. He's got Riz. It's like a, it's like <laughs> a negative Riz. That's, dude, I, I cock negative. block myself. This is, this, is, this is Jared's Riz when we're at a party. That girl's cute. Go talk to her. No. <laughs> That's Zane. Oh, yeah? Zane's like, she's really pretty. Why don't you talk? No. <laughs> okay. Actually, now I won't even look in her direction. <laughs> she knows it's too much. It's just getting worse. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he like tries to act like he's definitely not an option. He'll be like this. <laughs> He'll start like, I'm like, like, yeah, it's, he's not doing well. <laughs> that girl's really pretty. Guess I got to leave. <laughs> I should get out of here. I, I should probably be going. So why would they invite someone like that? They know I get nervous. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now into couples therapy. We're going to nail it. Heath. Mariah, Cheers. do you find it hard being in a relationship in this landscape of LA culture of, you know, you see your friends, they're, they're passing around people like it's candy, but you two, you've stuck together for five going on six years, I assume. Yeah. When's the anniversary? Five is after six. We, we actually don't. <laughs> six we, is after five. There she is. Wow. You ever try to make fun, fun of someone <laughs> and then be like, oh, well, I guess I'm the one that drools a lot. <laughs> uh, we actually don't have an anniversary. Gotcha. What? Um, Wait, how is that? You I'd guys just don't. Summer, sometime in the summer. Uh oh. Or fall. Yeah. <laughs> or fall. Could be winter. Could be today. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, I really don't know. Um, we just didn't like have like a celebration day. Yeah. Interesting. We'll wait for the wedding. <laughs> yeah, because then you got to change it down the road, anyways. Oh, that's right, true. Yeah. That is true. Oh, that is like when you get married eventually, then you get rid you start of. Start at one, yeah. Yeah, then you get rid of your anniversary of dating. My parents still keep their anniversary of dating. Of course they do, but they're a little different than other couples, you know? How? Is their wit. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we had them on their podcast, and they're way more in love than you guys, so I watch your mouth. Damn. Oh. Anyway. Um, <laughs> oh. You just didn't have to say that. That was hurtful. <laughs> okay. Um, what was I going to say? No, I, I want to ask, when, when, when tension arises for somebody that's been together for five years— like, how do you get past that? How, like, what? Say, say something annoys the other person. Do you guys have a conversation? How do you guys get past the point of, you know, I feel like we've been in relationships before where the arguments have been. You guys dated? Extensive. That's what I thought you was going yeah, with. Yeah. I was like, I must have missed We're her. We're basically then. dating at this point. We live under the same roof. Yeah. We kiss <laughs> at midnight. I <laughs> strictly. I'm the only one in this room that knows what Jared tastes like. Bro, cu uh, cu come upstairs real quick. It's 11:59. Well, I'm just trying to find love, and I want to know like how you guys keep such a um, steady. Relationship. Just communication. Yeah, we're. This is gonna be so simple and boring answers, but just just communicate. Yeah. Well, I saw a really interesting TikTok a long time ago, or maybe you showed it to me or something, but you know, everybody talks about their love languages, like physical touch, words of affirmation. And this guy was talking about when you're in a relationship for it to be successful and healthy, you also have to understand each other's like fight languages, right? Yeah. So like if somebody- My mom always says that. Yeah. So it's like if somebody wants to- argue or like talk immediately versus somebody that wants to just cool down for a second and then come back to it a couple yeah. hours what later. Are, what are your love languages? All of them. All of All them. them. I'd say mostly like. What are each other's? If you had to guess like what her top ones are. Um, what do they get? There's gift giving. There's, there's gift giving, affection. There's, there's podcast podcast service. Words, <laughs> podcasting. Uh, words I, know, of, I, I know what mine is. There's uh, like I physical think. touch, words of affirmation, gift giving, acts of service, and there's a fifth one. Pull up some newlywed questions. Let's see how well they know um, each other. This, yeah, that was all the above. <laughs> um, well, we like if if somebody goes somewhere, like we'll come home and like surprise them with like a, a drink from the gas station or just something silly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not like I brought you a, a pearl necklace. Um, yeah, he but do you want one? Pearl? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Add that to the list. I just keep getting her seven up. Um. <laughs> Dude, this whole time I thought she just really like Diet Coke. Really, she wanted diamonds. A couple of DCs. <laughs> um, it's, 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 it's my birthday. I got you a couple a, a case of DCs. <laughs> a couple Kit Kats, a Reese's. <laughs> okay. And then what are his? Well, mine was acts of service. That's what I thought mine was. Yeah, just like doing things. I think your acts of service and... What were they? Word, uh, words of affirmation. Um, Physical you touch. You like reassurance. Yeah. I like reassurance. Yeah. yeah. So whatever that means. 
He's the best. He's the best. <laughs> <laughs> and then what, what about your fighting languages? Like if you guys are in a little bit of a spat, are you want to talk about it immediately or just like I got to cool off? I usually like to address it. Like it, like talk immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's no point in like waiting, especially if you like live in the same house and then you you both don't have like regular jobs. So you're home most of the day. I know. Yeah. You know, it's not like, you know, maybe you get into a tiff in the morning and you don't have time because you have to go to your nine to five or something. But it's like you're home. What are you going to do? Walk around the next three hours and yeah. get pissed at each other and just do right. Be so passive aggressive. Right. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. That sounds like hell. And it's never we've. We've never had anything like a, we've never had a f- never had like a big blo- like like a fight fight like just like annoying little think. things because like yeah you live together you work together you're yeah. a boyfriend and girlfriend like you do everything together but surprisingly we're very good at balancing everything that's rare that's <laughs> boring <laughs> can you make something up yeah 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 uh, uh, wh- one he time hit I, me I the other day <laughs> in the eye Looks no like it. It, the oh. chin. In, in the heart oh, yeah. oh. oh. Heart. The other in time. the lung <laughs> oh I need the overhead. <laughs> Um, so you guys are, you're social people. You have friends. A lot of those friends. Are you making this question up off the top of your head? Do you know? Any, do you know, <laughs> do I know the rest movie? of the sentence? <laughs> yeah, I don't think you do. There's like a Michael you Scott guys. quote about that. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh yeah. He's like, he's like, sometimes I start a sentence. I, <laughs> I don't know where it's going to end up or something. Yeah. 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 I just hope I find it See, along the way. You guys are social people. You guys, you guys have friends. You guys have uh, people that you hang out with. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, a lot of those people produce eggs once a month or whatever they do. Are you looking for a girlfriend? We want, are you talking about their you chickens? You want a chicken? <laughs> like, what are you talking no. about? Jared and I, we're, we're both on the market, aren't we? You're trying to find us girlfriends right now? Why are you so against this? Wouldn't no, you want to find love? I do. Work with me for once. I am. I just, I wish I could follow what the hell you're talking about. He like speaks in code. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Ones and zeros, baby. Well, I am AI. <laughs> I'm the first one. Um, but anyway, um, anybody you could see us with, with, in your fr- with your friends with that are really hot. And <laughs> what other attributes, Jared? Uh, kind. Oh, I, 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 I wish like you would have been like, just hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what kind. are you looking for? There we go, Jared. Ask. What what am I looking for? I feel like you both have somebody in mind that you guys are just hoping we will mention because this is like <laughs> what? No, Jared. Jared does. I actually don't. You've got a crush on there, one little friend. We have a little friend. Oh 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 oh! I know who he's talking about. I don't. I've never heard of that name in my life. She's the girl that. Was. <laughs> I, I put my liquid death uh, thing on my necklace just now. Oh, that actually looks magic. really good. Oh. Wait, you put what brand on your necklace? <laughs> my liquid death. Wouldn't L-I-Q-U-I-D. That be- <laughs> Wouldn't that be great if they sponsored this show? That would be We're amazing. thinking a long-term they deal. They don't already. This is the only thing you have in your house. They did send us some, but <laughs> that's, a that's a good job. But I meant, wouldn't it be nice if they did a long-term deal and we- if Cop- they, yeah, copious if they, amounts of coin was in our pocket and yeah. then we also drank. Okay. I they would think honestly, it's good. That's good. I'd just like water. <laughs> just a, a, a box dropped off every week. Yeah, it is nice. It's good water. It's great water. We got a guy we can talk to you. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor, Athletic Greens. I take AG1 by Athletic Greens every day. The reason... I started AG1, you want to hear? I was feeling tired. I was feeling a little lethargic. I feel like I felt like life was on, on a downhill slope. And then I popped some of that Athletic Greens AG1 into my system, and I've never felt better. And that might sound pitchy, but before we were even sponsored by Athletic Greens, I genuinely was taking this product, and I gave it to my mom to make her feel better. I gave it to my best friend back home because he was feeling a little down, and, and I gave it to him, and then his energy boosting was back up. Like, this stuff is magical. And you might be thinking, Zach, oh, they're paying you. You have to say it. I would, I would say it anyway, okay, is the thing. Take AG1 if you're serious about your health. It'll start turning your life around, at least, uh, at least in my experience it has. Jared, it's been helping you. Explain what AG1's been doing for you. Well, I take AG1 in the morning before I get started with my day, before I do my workout and- Don't talk like we're sponsored. Talk like you actually use it because we actually do. Talk like that, man. We actually like this product. Talk. Okay, sorry. No, I legitimately love taking AG1. It's It really is the first thing I do. It's so easy. It's one scoop of, of AG1 with water. I like to add a little bit of juice because I think it enhances the flavor. I do it right before my workout. It fits right into my fitness routine and I've never, I feel rejuvenated. Here's a little info. Every scoop is packed with 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients of the highest quality that give you 
the major benefits like gut and mood support, boosted energy, that's the part I love the most, and even healthier looking hair, skin, and nails. And who doesn't want that? If you're looking for an easier way to take supplements, Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com slash dropouts. That's athleticgreens.com slash dropouts. Check it out right now, please. Thank you. Thank you, Athletic Greens. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor, BetterHelp. So recently through therapy, I have learned that I intellectualize my feelings, which means I'm not actually feeling them. Um, and that is something, knowing that information has helped with the process of healing from trauma that I've gone through. And, and this is just one of the many benefits of therapy is you get to bounce your brain off someone else, which when you can get out of your own head and, and get help, it it does wonders. It's a, we go to the gym for our bodies. Why are we not going to the gym for our minds? It's, it's very simple. Work out your mind with some therapy. Everyone needs it, whether you're in a dark place in life or the best place in life. It's just good to have a, a place you can return to every week and, and, and maintain that consistency. Therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding because sometimes we don't know everything about ourselves. We don't know why we do the things we do. We don't know why we react the way that we do. And BetterHelp will connect you to a licensed therapist that will take you on that self-understanding journey. If you're thinking of starting therapy, you really need to give BetterHelp a try. It's, it's not as, as scary of a dive in as you think it is. You could do it anywhere with people that really, really care about you and getting you to a place where your brain is, let's say, happy. And all you need to do to get started is just fill out a brief questionnaire and BetterHelp will connect you to a licensed therapist and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash dropouts and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash dropouts for 10% off your first month. Do it for your brain. And back to the show. And back to the Don't worry about him. You what else it. you got? Come, no, on. No, no. Come on, make something no. up. No, we're not. Okay, so now we know his. Who's yours? Don't worry about me. I, I, l listen, we're about to speak for each other. So I'm going to describe the girl that Jared needs and then maybe okay. throw out a name or somebody okay. that you think. Okay, he likes someone who's <laughs> likes him back. <laughs> <laughs> but kind. You like a little adventurous. Okay. Um, I wouldn't say you're in like the prude air arena. You're disgusting. I, I know. I'm I'd a say whola. like a, he probably wants like a freak in the sheets. I think he does. But then what's the other, what's the opposite? Lady, lady in the in streets. Lady in the streets. He, likes yeah. a, he, he wants somebody like humble and quiet and funny and cute and then behind closed doors. <laughs> I don't think that's what you want. I think you like a little bit of someone like, cause you had a crush on Danielle for a while. Like you like somebody. Until that's she like, opened her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but but I thought that's the part you liked. Um, well, I think I I like that. You don't have to like bleep a, out that name. Daniel doesn't matter. I think that I like that as like a friend quality. And then I just get that confused. Because like, imagine us in a relationship. Yeah. That, that would be the funniest thing in the entire <laughs> world. Okay, it would be I funny. Would you. She would, <laughs> would bully It'd be entertaining. You. Ex exactly. That's like, I don't need bullying in a relationship. I like teasing every once in a while. I can yeah. handle that. But that, that would just remind me of high school all over again. You know who you're exactly like? You're the same person. Uh oh, here we go. Danielle's friend Maria. Okay. Oh, wait, I know. Uh, she's kind of tall. Yeah. She's, she's also, also, also from, from Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Me and go Danielle Buckeyes, huh? say that. <laughs> uh, I met her at uh, Boogie Wonderland yes. or whatever that was. You guys was. are very similar. Interesting. Yeah. All right, that's one down. Is she in a relationship? <laughs> got it. No. Is she, oh. I, I don't know. Is she cute? I haven't seen she's her. Gorgeous. She's very cute. Yeah. And she's tall. <laughs> Does she like, um, she's got, she's really funny too. We had a yeah, really she's oh, Jared hysterical. likes her. Does, does she like editors and stuff, or like people that? Yeah, specifically, <laughs> only editors. That's Wait, Jared! Doing. Holy hell! What? Uh, buy the merch. Oh, get the shirt. That's almost sold so out. Sick. It's actually really nice. We've had okay. You don't have to hype it up. <laughs> that felt Wait. so like all right. We gotta say this. Wait, no, that's really sick. Thank you. We, we've had it for six months and haven't talked about it. <laughs> we talked one. about it like four times. I want one. It looks like Bob's. There's, um, there's one over there. Yeah, you can just there's have an one. extra one. I'll give you money. Uh. We don't need it. <laughs> uh, no. We're good. That's insulting. No, we actually do. We we really do. That's why Jared hasn't quit yet. <laughs> actually, don't don't buy a shirt. He'll quit. Um, buy the merch. We're uh, I don't know how shopdropouts.com. But it's almost all sold out, and we haven't promoted it. So thanks, guys. It was pretty. We glad you like it. Anyway, he's a dropout. Hell yeah. yeah. Of what? True. College. Oh yeah, I remember that. 
You and Zayn at the same time? Me and then Zane. <laughs> I feel like Zayn was like, <laughs> no, yeah, maybe. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was in school. <laughs> Hold Is on. that when like the adult was talking in the front of the class? <laughs> Um, no, yeah, we both dropped out and moved out here. I'm not gonna ask any follow-ups, <laughs> and you know that they know the story. Yeah, we're over here to riff. Let's just pretend we're friends. Why are we? This feels too interviewing. Wait, who do you have your eyes on? What are we talking about? Love. No, I feel like I'm. You need to take a break. That's what I'm saying. I Amen. Think, yeah, you need to. I think I need to take a break. Yeah, definitely need to take a break. Why would you say it last and like that? Because. <laughs> <laughs> You just need a break, dude. And you need like, whatever the opposite of a break is. That's what you, you need to break someone's back. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> and it could, I th- he's game shaming you. <laughs> game, game shaming. Game shaming. You've what just is- been game shamed. He is insinuating that I am saying you have no game. Limited game. Be- yeah. Zero Riz. Good. Buddy. There we go. There we go. There it is. First was there time. gaslighting in there somewhere? Because I kind of felt it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was just being rude. Yeah, that was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cap. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I saw I saw this uh, tweet the other day, and it said, um, "People with a 1.5 GPA saying no cap," <laughs> and then, oh yeah, yeah. graduation. Yeah, it's like yeah, <laughs> and it's no gown too. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Mm. I just I just figured out recently that Riz is just short for charisma. No, no idea. You did. That's like me finding out sus is just suspicious. Yeah, that one we all knew. But that, <laughs> but Jared, Riz is I did charisma. Not know that. Yeah, that's why it's like if you have no Riz, you have like no charisma. That's why so you're that's not charming. That's where every word comes wow. from. It's just shortened. Yeah, it's just like let's make one up right now. Um. Okay. Wait. Is LOL stand for something? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of love. What about STFU? She's been texting me that a lot. <laughs> Actually, you texted me that the other day. What did I say? Anytime Jerry puts up a story on oh Instagram. Oh my God, dude. He, anytime there's any like line of communication, he just, he sh- like shuts it down. Like we were going to a business meeting the other day. It's in Venice. We had to, <laughs> we had to drive separately. And um, just so like my parents everywhere now. <laughs> you guys so, in carpool? Well, he was already down in Venice playing basketball and I was still up here. So I like, we just had to drive separate. But so I walk outside of the building and I'm like, hey, are you here yet? And he just responds, leave me alone. (laughs) Dude, you can't let this guy. Look, I let him in my life a little bit. Now he's living with me. Think I want this? Why'd you say that? Because I wanted him to leave me alone. Oh, okay. I ask him, Checks out. I also think, I also, <laughs> Your turn. I also think it's really funny that like we definitely should know where each other's at in that moment. Yeah. And then just to say, just dude, leave me like I don't know you. Like leave me alone. <laughs> but then I run into like the guy that set up the business meeting and we're talking out front of the building and he's like, oh yeah, just ask where Zach was and he said he's two minutes away. <laughs> like, because I knew you guys would find each other. And then he believes in you. And then I posted uh, like a story. It was just like a joke about my alarm every morning is the Rocky theme song, right? And I was like, does anybody else have funny ringtones or whatever for their alarms? And Zach goes, no, because we're not seven, you know? And I was just like, I just responded. I was like, let me live, okay? Pretty pretty bad story to put up. All right. Yeah, that's, that's I mean, what, yeah, what are you, seven? That's handsome. Just like a, handsome. Stop. Come here. He's fine. <laughs> He's got your arm ripping off. He's, He's good. He's fine. Keep talking. Oh. Oh. Have you ever... Um, are you the type of haircut person while you're getting your haircut? Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, it looks and you're perf- just crying it's in the perfect car. every time. Yep. I'm like, ep- exactly to what be, I wanted to be you. fair. I don't think I've ever gotten a haircut, looked at myself in the ma- mirror and been like, all right, that looks good. I'm glad I did this. <laughs> it's happened to me maybe twice. <laughs> I've never been like, my hair looks good. No, it's- every time I'm like, I should have grown it out forever. Especially for guys, like girls, they'll get a haircut and like, Oh my, I feel so different. And they'll do like a transition video on TikTok. And you're like, oh, that's the same person with the same hair. And then then guys, it's like, we look deranged. It's like, oh, I look like Dobby from Harry Potter now. No worries. I went to your past couple of haircuts and it's so funny. What I look like while getting a cut. No, it's funny hearing you describe what you want. Oh, oh, I don't know. Like he just... I show a picture of like Ryan Gosling. <laughs> he doesn't just go in and he's like, yeah, let me get a number two. Let me fade it to one, like whatever. Like you don't bring up the numbers. You're just like, so it's it's like see-through, right? <laughs> it's kind so my of hair see- right now is like translucent. So my, yeah, he literally says that it's see-through. And the guy was like, okay, do you want do you want to start with like a three? He goes, ah. ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just see-through. Like I just, it's see-through. <laughs> 
Yeah, I came here for more hair. Like, you sweep up some that, from other people and, like, throw it on there? Well, I don't know what number I get because some people do it differently. Um, and they'll, they'll always start out. They're like, do you want to do, like, a one fade to whatever? Yeah. And I go, just not too short because my hair is see-through. Like, it's really big. <laughs> And if, the, if it goes short, it, like you, you could see my scalp and it like looks really bad. It's yeah. just funny, like the phrase see through when you're my describing your hair. Um, <laughs> <He's> La Ventana. Um, <laughs> La Vent but yeah, it's see through. So I don't, and I don't know what to get. <laughs> just, I, say, I, just say clean every, it up and give it a fade. Every time I'm just like, I trust you, do whatever. Yeah. That, and they're just like, uh, <laughs> do you want to ball it? <laughs> It's like going to a restaurant. It's like, I'll take whatever. And they're like, oh, you didn't, I don't like this food. Surprise me. Yeah. Um, how's the hair transplant? It's been growing in though? Uh, a little bit. It's starting to. So I did the whole shock system and they all fell out. I had a panic attack. Mm -hmm. And then now there. they're starting to okay. come in a bit. Wait, what does it mean they fall out? Like, So they take it from the back okay. and then they punch a hole. Yeah. And then they stick the hair in the hole. Okay. And then it heals in like a couple days and like holds it. But okay. like a month after you get it, the hair dies and falls out. So okay, so the, the follicle, follicle is still, still in there. But gotcha. The, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it has to start growing like a little baby. Yeah, okay. I thought you were talking, when you said they fall out, I was like, the follicle falls out? What the yeah, hell the is the science So they plant the point? follicle yeah. and then the hair comes yeah. out. Okay. Um, it, 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 it's called like the shock method. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, they go into shock. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> and now they're start, like they're very, very, very tiny and they're starting to come through. It's um, exciting, though. I know. I can't wait. <laughs> uh, I feel like in like four more months, it'll be. Hell yeah. I won't be calling my hair see-through anymore. <laughs> <laughs> then you're going to look too good. I, that's I might I'm make gonna... a move. Hey. 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 Easy. Easy. Well, before, before Easy we get off the, white chocolate. I like that name. <laughs> <laughs> before we get off the topic, um, I used to go get my hair cut at the KC Beauty Academy. I don't know if I should say that. <laughs> What does it matter? I guess not. Yeah. Um, What's but, the KCB? Is it bad? No, it's just uh, they're, they're. Oh, it's the people in training. You get the train haircut. Yeah, you yeah, get yeah. like the really cheap haircuts. I've done it. Yeah. So um, I, I was in there one time and my haircut would always take two hours. <laughs> but, you know, it was like 10 <laughs> bucks. They're snipping right. one hair at a time. Oh, yeah. No. It was like 10 bucks. I was like, I, I, I couldn't even afford that at the time. This was when we were living in hell. Yeah. Um, so this lady's like cutting my hair, but the whole time, the. the <laughs> Like the person that's teaching the instructor, but she had like a crazy name, like the emperor of hair <laughs> was, was watching um, the student and she's like, okay, make sure you do this. And, and she's just like so scared. And, um, and then she's like, hey, do you want me to, she's like, make sure you cut off the like baby hairs off his neck. You know how like we always get yeah, lined yeah. up with the, whatever straight you call it, the, the yeah. straight razor. This was the like a trimmer trimmer. And, oh, oh, oh. and so she's like cutting it and it's really hurting. Like really what? hurting. And I'm like, but I'm not saying anything hurt. because I'm the type of person. It's like, I used to Suck work it. at Outback yeah. Steakhouse. Even <laughs> if they spit in my food, I'll give you 20%. <laughs> my sister worked at Outback. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Was she better than me? Of course. Oh, what's the hot cousin doing? Still being hot? Single as ever, yeah. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we just said take a break. Listen, have you seen her cousin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you wouldn't want to take a break either. Mm -mm. Um, enough. <laughs> enough. That's enough. She's got like a lot of crazy hot cousins. Okay. I know. We got we to gotta move to the East Coast. <laughs> She'd be so mad if we got one of her cousins pregnant. Dude, imagine like a Zach. In the, My heart just sunk. <laughs> like I, I changed your cousin's last name to Justice. You'd be so mad. You'd be at the wedding like. Oh, no. And then we got bait. Like we do a double weight wedding. Oh, if we both infiltrated her family. And they all look the same. So it's like we, on the wedding day, we'd be like, is they this one mine? I think that one's mine. Stupid. No, that one's yours. Um, anyway, so she's cutting my hair and like it's really hurting. And she turns me around. It's like, you want to see it afterwards? And I'm just like dripping blood. No, <laughs> there's no way. I have pictures. I just have cuts all over oh, my how neck. How is that possible? Like it cuts, shouldn't hurt. No, cuts but, all over my neck. I gotta find these pictures. Did she not have like the guard on? Um, she didn't, she definitely, that was her <laughs> last day at school. <laughs> I just don't understand. Cause even like without the guard on, they're designed to like really not yeah. cut you. And then you have to try to cut something. Yeah, cause yeah. like if you're getting it, when you're getting your baby hairs cut and it's like lining it up, they go no guard and they're, Going skin oh, right, to skin, you know, right, whatever. Right. I don't understand how, how it that happened. Possible. How hard was she pushing? Yeah, like but even a that. baby that came out, she was pushing so hard. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. wasn't a, a full laugh. I could tell that you've that you put it on. It took it me a second to delete to 
<laughs> to delay. <laughs> to delay. <laughs> Took me a second. You guys just keep talking. I'm finding this picture. Now, the best thing when it comes to hair, the best term I ever found out was just saying clippers only because I always called the the actual trimmers clippers, but to them, clippers is scissors. And so because oh. I write that down. I hate getting fades. Like I just it doesn't look good on me. And so I would always sh- like try to be like, don't give me a fade, and they would be like cool we'll give Faith. you an extra tight oh fade. man and, and so then i found clippers only and i was like oh man change my life forever that's a good barbershop name clippers, clippers only. only that's nice yeah good basketball team <laughs> the clippers. Clippers. <laughs> uh, have you ever gotten a, a straight razor shave no that I've is never, my favorite thing i've never had the need to like i can't grow enough to like need no you, you could do it i know it like i could Technically, look at this. This is my neck afterwards. <laughs> oh my! It looks like you got mauled. Yeah, I know. That's bad. Wait, oh, that's, 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 this is after healing a little bit too. Send that to me. Ten dollars though. I don't know. I'd do it. <laughs> you could probably do a better job. <laughs> I could. Haircuts are so expensive now, dude. I went to Great Clips, right? Because normally there's a guy named Reed in Vegas uh, that, like, we used to go a little more often to visit his family, but we hadn't been in a while. My hair was getting crazy. It was so, cheaper for us to drive to Vegas to get our haircuts. That's yeah. insane. And it was actually oh. like a good your hair drop on? Um, oh, yeah. Your hair drop? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, so I, I just needed, we hadn't been in a while. My hair was crazy. And so I was just like, let me go to Great Clips and they'll just do it. The last time I went into Great Clips, a haircut was ten dollars. Yeah. I walk in, it is twenty three dollars now. I don't understand. I just don't understand. When the hell did that happen? How much do you pay for your haircut? Um, it's a lot. How much? Uh, well, I do. They do the hot towel. I do hair. He gets the works. Um, yeah, you have an experience. Beard. Uh, but I think it's I think it's one twenty five. I, I remember paying like twelve dollars to get my hair trimmed. Yeah, but it, I go to like a gentleman's spot where I'm there for a very long time. Ooh, they do like a hot towel with like this like gel stuff, and then he'll like put it over my face. <laughs> it's like it's slap like, him around a little bit. Yeah, and <laughs> pull my <laughs> pull my <laughs> see through hair. Um, he puts like this suction cup on the top, <laughs> and it's just like this whole experience thing. And I just love like the the straight razor mm. shave. Mm. It's something about putting that trust into another man. <laughs> <laughs> this like man literally has just... a, a razor blade, one blade just right here along <laughs> your throat. Does it help? But I, I close my eyes. I can't look at that. Does it help oh, with ingrowns? No. Yeah. It's really? a, dude, it's the best. Because they exfoliate. Yeah, they like work oh. on it and then they let that hot towel sit on your face for like 10 minutes and like steam it and it brings everything. Oh, that's nice. really nice. I have an ingrown right now. I think we, right should, here. we should go to a spa together. We should all go get our beards done tomorrow. Dude, I yes. <laughs> give me a few days to let it grow you don't out. You can do a more. beard transplant. You're I, Italian, dude, so you should I want a mustache, do that. right? Yeah. I I and want beard. a beard so bad, and like it's just it's getting better as I'm getting older. Like when I was 20, I wanted a beard, and I just had nothing. And then now, like almost 25, it's like coming in, but it's still patchy. Like it still would look. You like should shit. try going Matt through puberty. Matt can't either. <laughs> <laughs> You've been doing that mustache where they won't let you in the YMCA though. That's been pretty cool. Yeah, mustache is a move though. Not not my move. <laughs> <laughs> His mustache move is is the moms moving the kids away when they see him. I need like that's that's I want to do a beard transplant and then sure. there's a beard transplant. Yeah. yeah, you could do. Where do they anything. take it from? You could do the anything. Back. The back of your head for the beard from your back. Didn't your oh, didn't no. your doctor say someone did like their pubes or something? Yeah, this he was saying this girl she was like married or something, and her ex husband made her get like laser hair removal down there, and I guess they broke up or whatever, and she was like, I want my genital hair back no uh, that's right well you get that life back <laughs> <laughs> so she she came in and did a, a landing strip wow oh, yeah. transplant interesting mm. I'm, wow. I'm trying to be in the one in that cockpit huh oh enough <laughs> enough that's enough what's this guy doing <laughs> this guy should be filtered <laughs> <laughs> you bring unfiltered on but it's just like don't say that <laughs> <laughs> well recently i went to a spa okay and by that i mean I had to take a shower at an LA fitness <laughs> <laughs> and the amount of old men who Naked. just, they don't care. They uh, want oh. you to see yeah, yeah, yeah. their balls. I don't understand it. It's, it. It has to be on purpose because there's no, like 
you have to try to be that naked and exposed. And it's ne- they're never like you're never looking at it being like, I wish I had that one. It's always <laughs> like I wouldn't show that to people. <laughs> like that's just that's. Yeah, but it kind of makes you feel good. Yeah, until they make me touch it. But <laughs> yeah, on, until they push you into the sauna. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, being oh. There was a sauna there. I didn't get in because, again, it was just a bunch of old people. And, and they just sit there, legs spread wide. Oh, dude, spread eagle. No way. Uh, yeah. It's bad. Like they, and then it's just sitting on the sauna seat. Yeah. So then you're like, I, somebody is going to sit there next. Dude, the, they don't the, care. The craziest one I saw, I was, uh, it was out at LA Fitness. It was in the like the changing. <laughs> worked up thinking about it. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was in like the changing area of it where like the benches are in the lockers and stuff, sitting butt ass naked. And he got up and it was like one of those, like the, the bench was one of those uh, materials where, you know, in science class, like the big black desks yes, that of course. left like moisture. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like oils. Like, yeah. yeah. So he gets up, there is a full <gasps> no. ass print Hell and yeah. just, just two ball. little dots. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's, so funny. That's crazy. It was. You guys should go to. Oh, lifetime, lifetime gym. Unbelievable. It's Where a whole that? day. It's like uh, Laguna Niguel. The most insane uh, gym. Oh, where's Laguna? <laughs> Is that in Tokyo? Laguna, Laguna. <laughs> Laguna. You went with Ilya, right? Yeah, it's um. And then Laguna. we went to one. Never heard of them. Yeah. Uh, it's a really, really, really nice spot. They've got this insane rock climbing wall. As soon as you walk in, it goes up like four stories in the middle of everything. It's a gym, but, but you can get Botox there. You could get. You there's can, a spot you could get your hair cut. You could get your nails done. Dude, it's insane. There's a cafe. There's a whole poolside. It looks like a it's resort, a but park. there's no they have water slides. Hoops, like rooms, Shut right? the hell up. And yeah. like. Cabanas, you can like hang out and get a cabana seating. Indoor, no, outdoor no. swimming. What? Wa- like waterfalls, water slides. You're not going, Alyssa. Why do you look so happy? You you literally spend the Fine, entire day there. Oh, I looked up And it's not Laguna. as expensive as you think. I feel like Equinox is more. It's, yeah, it's a cheaper membership than Equinox. How far away? No way. Yeah. Uh, it's a drive, right? 45 minutes, hour. I've driven longer for less. <laughs> 60 miles from here. An hour and a half if we leave right now. But it's a whole day thing. Like you hit the gym and then you just, and all the stuff in the bathroom is like like luxurious, like body wash and hair. It's like. uh. Oh yeah. You can get like facials there too. Yeah. Everything. Dude, it's crazy. Should we move to Laguna just to be next to this? Now we're talking. um, They're supposed to be opening one up in, what is it? Century City, like by the airport. No way. Really? Oh, wow. That's. Terrible area. Terrible area, but a more tolerable drive. Yeah. Speaking Bingo. of another hour drive, Texas Roadhouse. Shut up. Really? I would Where? Go I love right. Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> to the right. <laughs> yeah. The, they, you, out of you, the driveway, you go right. You get, to, you get to throw your rib bones and pour your drink on the floor when you're done. I just, no, you just had a bad family. <laughs> <laughs> you no, get to just you get to punch the waiters. I thought it was just peanuts. No, you throw everything. You empty the plate. You take your knife and empty it on the... I don't There's, think I've ever been to a Texas Roadhouse. I, I don't. I've been to a Texas Roadhouse. We didn't get to do that though. <laughs> We're just doing it, and they're like, <laughs> "Please leave." And then for your birthday, they bring a saddle to the table, and you have to sit on the saddle. Oh, that's fun. And no, like, they have... definitely don't do that there. <laughs> that's gaslighting. You figured it no, out. They definitely don't do that there. Nailed. I can tell she's no, gonna be like, "I don't know what you're talking oh. about." Oh, I guess he's right. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of Longhorn. Uh, Remember, guys, we've never fought, so I won't bring it up. <laughs> oh, communication. <laughs> communication is just you saying you're right and her going, okay. Because I'm oh, I'm so used to being wrong. <laughs> she goes, like this time, we're like, no, you're right on that. Wait, no, what, about, I... what about this time? <laughs> no, so McDonald's right. does serve chicken nuggets. Uh, no, he said they don't. I want McDonald's. No, you don't. No, I don't. There's no way you could go back to like American McDonald's after trying what no. he described. Oh, really? And no, oh, I no. wish oh, I, the- I wish I got the Sprite. Heard a lot of good things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a you samurai get, burger. You definitely get a Sprite here. It's called a samurai burger. What's that? Oh, all the names were crazy, right? Oh, That's dude. what your burger was called, samurai. It's samurai burger. Oh, that's a dope ass name. We sick. have Big Mac. I brought a wrapper back. For Jordan, because <laughs> okay. he's obsessed with McDonald's. Uh, of course he is. So I brought him back a wrapper. Let's let them guess what, what happened when we gave him the wrapper. So like I folded it up so I we could like pack it. Um, he obviously, like we gave him like other different knickknacks and stuff. And I yeah. gave him the wrapper. 
You guess, guys take guesses. What guess happened. what he? Oh wait, do you know what he did? I do know what he did. Guess what he did? We gave him the wrapper from McDonald's. What? Wait. What? Wait. Is this? Wait. Well, what? Yes. Is this a wrapper? Yes. <laughs> but then what? But what action did he perform? He probably smelled it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Keep going. <laughs> and then I assume he tried to lick the cheese off of it. He licked every <laughs> yeah. square inch of this wrapper. Yeah. Just no, there's actual sauce. Like you know what a wrapper looks like when you're done eating it. Yeah. yeah. Licked oh. repeatedly. With and no hesitation. And how long is the flight from Japan to LA? Twelve hours. Okay, so it's already twelve hours old at and it least. Was the night at before. least, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever thought about just putting him down? <laughs> just like, this one's not living. Like, this one's suffering. <laughs> yeah, it needs to be put out of his misery. Um, so you won't try Popeyes? Um, I just about just a bite. You you would actually like Popeyes. Popeyes is good. Like, Do that's they have, like, real chicken? chicken? I think so. I know, I'm sure I'd like it. I, I just, I don't have anything against it. I think I was just scared straight as a kid. It's mm. like a, it's like His parents were cakes. definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah, I got the joke. What's the joke? Uh, my parents are gay. Oh, that's never a joke. And that's they're, equality. They're what? <laughs> how many? Okay. If we start a Patreon, how many subscribers do you think we can get? Like, honestly, I think like 500. Oh. I think you guys could get more than 500. Patrons. I think so. What are we okay, averaging? Per guys, episode? if you're listening right now and you would be a patron, comment what's below your, or thumbs up this video and smash that like button. What, <laughs> what, what's a good price point? Five dollars. Well, we started out, we did like five, 10 and 15 and had different tiers for mm -hmm. stuff that you would get at each tier. Yeah. Um, and it honestly was like confusing, I think, for people mm -hmm. because they would sign up and be like, wait, aren't we supposed to be getting this? And it was just like, I didn't want, I just wanted to make it easier. Like we were stressful. just like, the best thing we could do was just make it one tier, one price, yeah. all access to everything. So instead of doing five, 10, 15, we just dropped it all to five and made it all on that tier. And it was just, it's just way easier. And yeah. everybody really liked that system. And that's like, that's affordable, you know, like that's a, a cup of coffee at yeah. a once a month, you know, to and listen then, to us. But I'd rather you, have the cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have Kromota coffee. There you go. <laughs> available at Kromota.com backslash matcha. <laughs> and if you get it soon, it'll be full price. <laughs> Order now. <laughs> Order now. <laughs> Link in the description, but not our description. <laughs> You're going to have to go watch their full episode, which just came out after this one. And <laughs> you're posting before us. Uh, we usually do post before you. Also, <laughs> can I stop? <laughs> you're good. You're yeah, good. Well, I found something that you guys are going to really like. What? Um, there's a gumball machine on Facebook Marketplace, and it's an original blockbuster gumball machine. Shut oh, yeah. Up. It's, it's really right sick. And How it's close it? by. It's, it's not, I think it's like $200. $200, $300. That's fine. That's not bad. That's not for a blockbuster. Oh, yeah. It, it feels so good just to go from, oh, I already ate and not have already eaten just because you can't afford everyone else going out to eat to... $200 gumball machine, whatever. <laughs> Fucking pick it up. Yeah, suck it. We went to um, Florida pretty recently and I was with my buddy that I grew up with and his childhood home, His uh, they got rid of it or whatever. And we went to drive by it because like, I basically grew up in his house, like just going over every weekend. We drove by and he told me they turned, so it's in the middle of a neighborhood, like something like this, imagine. Okay. His house, they converted into a, retirement live-in home no oh. and there's like 16 elderly people gross what the hell all living in this house in the middle of the neighborhood in the middle of the neighborhood and it's like four old people per bedroom that sounds horrible like that and they're on like these tiny little cots and they just like stuff them into the corner and then there's just like uh, people that look after them all day. Oh my God. That's so I don't depressing. Know how, I don't we know. live that life. <laughs> I Yeah. But imagine living that life when you're 90 years old. Wouldn't like, it be nice to die in unison though? I guess. It's like, oh, you die on Tuesday? I was thinking Wednesday. What if we meet in the middle and like midnight? Right after you kiss. Yeah. I mean, they, they say they get after it. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Do you think that each those four people per room are just yeah. orging, orging it up? You know, they're wheeling those carts all over. Oh, you don't want some... Oh, wait, did I already talk about this? What? In high school, um, one of my teachers came to a high school party party and fought a kid. No way. <laughs> I just think it's so funny. That's worse than like having sex with a student. <laughs> <laughs> just beating the shit out of a kid. No way. Yeah, just showed up to the party. They had beef in class and they just duked it out. How do you have beef <laughs> with a kid? Oh, I had, I had beef with a teacher. 
I'm not gonna say her name, but she looks like a turkey. So <laughs> take that, Miss Turkey. Um, but I just thought it was hilarious. That's crazy. And then our other another principal got um, he got taken out. He was having sex with just all of the moms. What? Yeah. And then our what a, school did you go? Another to? principal had Shout sex with the, with the students. That's I, so bad. I think he waited till they were 18. Now that it's better. That's terrible. They might but, have been 18. Oh. oh no. What about you? Did you ever fight a teacher? Now that I think about it, it doesn't sound too crazy. <laughs> um, because there there was a couple that I didn't like. Uh, but they were old. Like I I just well, I just love that town where like anything can happen. <laughs> no, I don't love having sex with students. You gotta say that or people are like, he means that and I don't. But just like you have beef with your teacher, and it's like all right, you meet, fight at, was it a high school party? Yeah, you just meet me on a dirt road and we're going to figure this no out. No way. And then and the, and the teacher won? Um, I'm not sure. I, I don't know why. For some reason, the, I'm rooting I think for the he teacher lost. Right the teacher I'm would have sure. to win or he could never show his face in that no, school again. I think he lost. I'll have oh, to ask Skyler. But um, I had teachers dip their balls in my drink. Shut up. Um, okay, so we had a friend over. He left his chapstick. All the guys are hanging out, um, obviously, when... If you leave and you leave your chapstick, you rub it all over your genitals. We put it on our genitals. I've told you this was part of the story. Um, That's news to me. His mom, his <laughs> uh, my friend put it in the trash because he's like, oh, we can't actually give it to him. His mom took it out of the trash, used it. He was just like, it must have fallen in on the counter. And then my, my friend was like, you've gone to third base with all my friends. And, <laughs> oh my And God. so she got mad um, and she like funny mad, I guess. And she got two of her friends that were also worked at the school to she bought us lunch and was like, here's your lunch. And then after we drank our drink, she's like, these guys dipped their balls in it. And we were like, shut up. We're like, no. And still, <laughs> no, no. And still, still to this day, if we ask them, we're like, okay, you didn't really. They're like, no, we did. Yeah, wild town. It's crazy how young new teachers are. Aren't they like they should 20, not, 24 years old? Like should young. should not be looking over children. Like, no. Oh, no. I see some of the kids I went to school with are yeah. now teaching yes. people. And I'm like, yes. I wouldn't. Yeah. I, I want to go in the class and be like, don't listen to them. Yeah, no. Just I, saw, I saw their grades in school. <laughs> you do not want to be learning from them. <laughs> this that isn't is the one you want to learn crazy. from. Crazy. Which is, there's really good teachers, but it's just funny when you see the people you went to high school with, you still see them as kids always. And you're like, there's no way that guy flies a plane. <laughs> oh yeah, I think the same thing. There's no way these guys have a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, that part makes sense. <laughs> oh, these guys just like talk once a week for a living. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That adds up. I mean, it's, it, this is we are work. We are on the clock right now. Yeah, isn't that that's strange? We're getting paid for this. That's it. Makes me feel bad. I'm not getting paid for this. Yeah, you can have some money. Um, <laughs> Yay! We you. always think, I always think of like moments like this where I'm having a really good time, just talking and realizing I'm making money. And like, and then I go back to like 18 year olds in World War II where they were drafted and oh, they had to I go know. on the front lines. You guys are out of the draft age, right? No. What's but, the draft age? <sighs> well, I'm an only child, so I can't go. Oh, yeah. You got to pass that name down. Yep. Wait, I'm an only child of my mom's, just for my mom, but not my dad. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you're screwed. <laughs> I'm going in. Yeah, yeah. You're going in. Dang it. <laughs> Dang but it. it's like, uh, well, I mean, Taylor is already discharged, but he. So did my. I can't even say that. <laughs> I was gonna say so did my girlfriend, but Gross. she had discharge. <laughs> you discharge, right? <laughs> Alyssa. That's Alyssa, a, Alyssa that don't a, answer. That is a terrible word. They could have. They could have. Yeah, it sounds very like mechanical. A lot of people call it panty pudding, which I also think Ew. is worse. That, that's just what I've heard. Way worse. Nobody calls no. it that. No. Alyssa told me that's what people call it. <laughs> no, what do you call it? Nothing. The fun crusties? Ew. Ew. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alyssa said um, she not. broke up with a guy because. Um, he cheated on her and see, she saw that she was going, uh, he was going to an Italian restaurant one night with like a girl and she snuck in and she sprinkled it on like Parmesan, her discharge. No, she didn't. She got back at somebody. You're disgusting. You are disgusting. Sorry. I should have kept that to myself. <laughs> no, just, well, now it's out to the world. Um, her mom listens to this podcast, so I always say something a little weird and she'll get a call and be like, do you really use your discharge as Parmesan cheese <laughs> at a local Italian cuisine? <laughs> And they'll should be like, yes, mom. Um, what were we talking about? Fighting kids? Oh, the draft. I think just like oh, yeah, weird. the draft. But my dad, at one point in the military, he was Captain Justice. How cool is that? Oh, that is, that is They should make a movie. And he flew fighter jets. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, he it did. can't get cooler than that. Oh, my gosh. I mean, he's a real hero. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and my other teacher would just tell me, he's like, <laughs> he'd go, he's like, come here. He trusted me. He's like, hey, all right, there's the keys to the golf cart. <laughs> there's no like, way. He's like, there's a golf cart outside. And at the middle school down the road, they're having free meals out with steak. He's like, 
no, it was burgers. He's like, well, burgers. He's like, y'all go get me one. <laughs> and me and Skylar would just leave school on like- What? Putting down that the road. crazy. I had a teacher. He, I don't know why he was a teacher. He fucking <laughs> hated kids. Um, but he, he also had anger issues, but he would try to like, um, I, I don't know, like keep it together, but he would bite his knuckles, right? Mm, that is not a good sign. That's psychotic. And there is one time, so our school had six periods or seven periods, right? I had Oof. him. Oh, he was a Latin teacher too. Oh, like blood. just one of the oh, worst God. subjects. Um, so whammy. I had him sixth period and then I, I had friends in his seventh period class. And so our class was just acting the fuck up. Like we were driving him wild. And then bell rings, we leave. The next class comes <laughs> in. I just, I just cut to, I feel like we could cut to a clip of Jared in the back watching everybody else go wild <laughs> and then feel no, like no, you're a part of it. No, <laughs> no, no, you went no, no. crazy that class. Oh. Normally, <laughs> normally, yeah, get him, Jeremy. normally oh. that would be me, but I, <laughs> I hated this dude. Um, and so after school, uh, my friends that are in his last bell, they're like, what did you guys do to him? And we're like, what are you talking about? They're like, we walked into class and his knuckles were wrapped with uh, paper towels and they were bleeding He's through insane. the paper towels. Jeez. <laughs> and should not be working oh. with children. No. And so, and then there was like, um, <laughs> there was one time he gave me a detention in class, right? And it was called the, the 230 Club. <laughs> and, that sounds fun. And, That's a, unless you're an dentist's Island. favorite club. Oh, nice. 2.30. Two thirty. Um, so <laughs> I get, <laughs> you guys, I feel like you're the only one that probably goes to the dentist regularly. No opposite. Okay. I've Who, never been in my life. Sorry. I want you to, <laughs> have you never been? Never. <laughs> I want to know who here has been to the dentist last. Cause I feel like we're, we all need to go. Me for sure. It's been like years. No, it's definitely yeah, you have years. no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Alyssa, I, have been... a, I have a dentist like phobia. Oh. Like I have a doctor phobia. Why? Why? They help people. Yeah. Wait. I'm scared of everything. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't go, there's nothing wrong with you. I think I'm, I think. It's true. Yes. Mm. Totally agree. <laughs> That's what my mom says. Yes. Well, my... I think because growing up, we didn't go to the doctor for every little thing. Mm -hmm. We never went. Gotcha. Well, when my brother-in-law just went and. I had testicular cancer, and they're like, if you would have came earlier, we could have caught it and saved the ball. You got to check yourself, boys. You check me, I'll check you. You stay alone. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Everybody pair up. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I do want to fall into this. So you're, you're scared of doctors? Let's not Let's not fall into this. <laughs> My mom's going to watch it and be like, you haven't been? Oh, dude, I haven't been. I haven't gotten a physical done since I was 18. Like, I just went recently. Really? Oh, they feel your balls? I, yeah, I haven't done a physical. I haven't been to the dentist in probably six let's years. Not we six, should all, we need to all go to the dentist. I think, we, yeah, six years. We, it might be that six long for me. Years. Yeah. Damn. Um, I just never I, had good experiences as a kid. A regular. They're just like, they terrifying. keep telling me I have cavities. <laughs> no, that's the thing. I've never had a cavity. I don't know why I'm so scared. You just don't know. <laughs> I just yeah. think, no, like every time I went, they're like, do you, uh, I, when I was a kid, I lied about flossing. I never flossed as a kid. And they were like, you floss a lot, don't you? I'm like, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. And they're like, no cavities, you're good. Actually, I tweeted that out today and uh, I tweeted dentist. <laughs> so have you been flossing recently? And then it's me, of course. <laughs> Meanwhile, my gums look like a vampire's wet dream. <laughs> Just like <laughs> gushing blood. Oh yeah, I definitely have been flossing. <laughs> and then like a normal doctor to see like a primary. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta start 15 going. maybe years. Damn. I was the, like I was was... the same until I just, um, I just went like a couple months ago for the first time. You were good? And she, I'm, I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and I told her, I was so honest with her. I was like, I haven't been to a doctor in this long. I haven't like gotten any checkups. And she made me feel, she was like, you don't need to, you're good. And she was a doctor and she was like, I didn't go until I was 28. And I was like, That's okay. Good. So there she didn't go. make me feel like stupid. Okay. She was like, you're fine. That's like, you're good. good. If you feel good, you're good. I just, I hadn't gone since like the peeing incident, like yeah. a very long time. And then I, I would go for like a specific thing. Like I have um, low blood platelets. So I went to like a specific doctor for that. Specialist. Check my blood. Gotcha. I, I'd love to go to like a nutritionist and get everything done though. Yeah. Which would be really yeah. interesting. Or they do a full body scan for yeah, yeah, yeah. firefighters. Like yeah. My can, buddy did it. It's like, I think it's called like life scan. They do this. Scan like your whole body and we'll tell you if you have cancer anywhere, like any sort of disease, like everything. I kind of want to do it in terrifying. one scan. Yeah, I, don't know if I, I want to like do that. once and done. 
Um, but one time I went to get uh, a physical when I was younger, and I don't know why I didn't. I didn't know what a physical was, but I guess from watching movies and stuff, I thought. It was like a prostate exam. <laughs> I don't know. No, I get that. I, get I knew that. you had to like drop your pants and s- the doctor checks stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, so he's like, all right, I'm going to need you to uh, drop your pants. We're going to do the, you know, physical, whatever. And I pulled my pants down and I turned around and I bent my ass over. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and he goes, oh, there she is. There she is. And okay, I, didn't, I didn't realize until later on in life, but he, like he was just like, "All right, you can turn around." Now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, I just want to know what he thought I was. He thought hoping he, for. You know what I mean? Because like he thought you wanted to get pegged, like one hundred percent. All right. Good thing he was a good doctor. Yeah, yeah. He could have probably done some sort of test, uh, dude. If he had any, oh, sort he's of- like fuck. <laughs> what? Got an easy oh. one today. What would you have honestly done if he just went, <laughs> just spit in it? Would you put in like, that's part of the procedure. He's got to lube it up. Wow, it really is like TV. Yeah, when do we need to get our prostate examed? Can we go together? Like 40. I feel like we should do it earlier. Mm-mm. I have colon cancer in my family. That seems like something you can check for yourself. I feel like they're holding the secret of what you look for. <laughs> because if they just stick a finger in. And they, they can they tell. Would be, they should be like, all right, there's like a little ball on the back or something. <laughs> like, Dude. If you feel it, you're fucked. You know what I mean? This is making my butt They should have like clenched. an at-home kit. That's what I'm saying. You throw it in there and then it's like, oh, you got it. There's got, there's no way that, because they're not doing anything in there. No, they're just tickling your G spot. They're just Whoa. feeling around. There's got to be a way you could do it at home. Like, I would rather have you put a glove. You what? too. <laughs> I'm right here. I'd rather me not. Right. Is, uh, it, uh, is it Harry? I don't know. I can't see it. Is it Harry? I don't know. I can't see it. <laughs> oh, then it's Harry if you can't see it. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll do it. I've got like pretty. Like, Actually, I, you got no. Yours are wider. <laughs> yeah, I got pretty. Got I got pretty thin feet. I'm not gonna go all the way in. You know, I'm gonna feel for the ball thing that you're talking about. I was making it up. That's <laughs> in my head. What you were talking about. Earlier. We're just figuring it out. He's like, "What do you feel?" Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, it's like <laughs> there's a ball in there. <laughs> there's a ball in there. Get it out. Get there's it a, out. It's a bullet. There's BBs. <laughs> <sighs> this is why Maria won't. <laughs> this is why Mariah won't eat it. <laughs> I have to pee now. Come on. Um, I, Enough. I, I know. I know. You you like everything G-rated. I apologize. <laughs> I'm not leaving because I got uh, uncomfortable. I actually have to pee. I also. Yeah, take pee. that, Mariah. Did you dry your hands, hon? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I Did you I... give yourself a prostate exam in there? <laughs> <laughs> it so, just guys, like, it turns out there is a, a little a ball. ball. And if you shake it, it tells your fortune. <laughs> 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 well, no, we, we were talking about something else. Oh, back to the... um. PP? PP oh, tube? Oh, no, no. The guy was touching you. Oh, yeah. You, you're bent over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he just like. He's like, all right. All right, good. You're good. Thank <laughs> you. Right. Um, um, and then he did the. Yeah, yes. Cough. Oh, when I was little, I just, I was seven years old, maybe six, six when I got my first one done. And it was a woman, which I just thought, no. Like, I don't <laughs> Jackpot. know. Jackpot. No. Well, no. I just felt so, I was just looking up in the air and. I felt ashamed. I was like, she's got to know I'm a little boy. Like it'll grow one day. I remember, I, I, remember, I remember thinking like, like this isn't it. Like this isn't it. Like this is. It's, it's going to get bigger one day. Like there's this thing called puberty. Like what you're looking at now is like, pre, like this is, you're seeing a prequel. Like usually, yeah, you'd watch this later. But anyway, I just, I was a little embarrassed. So I want to get out that. Right. I want to get that out there. Have you seen The Fall in Our Stars? No. Yeah. Sad. Oh yeah. You don't like movies. Okay. What I do mean, you like? True. He likes The Office. <laughs> Do you, do you I wish I could see the amount of hours <laughs> that like she's put into a total the total Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, on Call of Duty, I'm you can see like right hours now. played. I don't think you would want to see that. I think that would kind of be a horrifying statistic. So obviously I've watched The Office backwards and forwards a million times, but now on Peacock, mm-hmm. they have it. They have the same episodes, but there's deleted scenes in each one that you no haven't seen way. before. It's called like super fan episodes. So there's extra stuff now that's brand new oh, that you haven't shit. seen before. That's so cool, I finished watching those and now I'm at the point like when I go get ready, if I do like my hair and makeup, I put on YouTube like best pranks, best of gym, <laughs> best of toy <laughs> over and over. That's all we watched on the way to Big Bear. <laughs> yeah. Do you watch, did you like Modern Family or no? My family did. No, you. You're, <laughs> oh, Mariah, they're not on the podcast. No. You're on it. 
Um, I know it's f- no, I didn't watch. It. <laughs> I, I know like it's you, funny. I, feel I watched, like you love it. If it's on, I'll I'll like. No, I don't watch it. <laughs> yeah, she's lying. <laughs> like, I'll if just, it's like, if my family's watching it and I call them and I hear in the background, then <laughs> why is that watching? Is that? But you like cinema, right? Hey, we watched a movie last night. What'd yeah, you guys did. watch? My Mur- murder mystery two. What you guys didn't watch a movie one. last night. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Murder Wait, mystery two came out on Friday. Is that the one with Adam Sandler? Yeah, yeah, yeah but there's a murder mystery one. The second one came out yesterday, <laughs> two, How, two days ago. Oh, was, there was there was the first one. <laughs> I was like, I was like, weird that they just jumped <laughs> yeah, straight start, to two. <laughs> murder mystery two. Well, there's no, a murder, first one. It's T O O. Oh, okay, okay. I'm kidding. <laughs> also, <laughs> hey, thanks for catching us up on that. Hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> you can't command the button. I love like action comedy. <laughs> You're like, like hmm. one of my favorite movies is Zombieland. Oh, okay, that's, that's a fantastic a movie, yeah. though. I don't like when you said the stars one. <laughs> stars. The stars one. I didn't. I didn't watch. Surprisingly, I didn't watch that or the Notebook. I've never seen that. No, or Twilight. Or yeah, yeah, you're not missing much. You never saw notebook. Titanic either, right? No, I did see Titanic. Uh, yeah, did you enjoy my it? grandmother made me watch that. Have you done the Titanic exhibit in? No, Vegas? We, we booked it four times. And yes, <laughs> they keep canceling on us. The Have day you done of. the Mob? I watched Schitt's Creek. Okay. <laughs> Let's bring it back. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, how was that? So good. It's a yeah, it's a funny show. Do you like Reno Nine One One? The clips have been going on TikTok. I haven't seen the clips. Have been the going old on. the old one I couldn't get into. I'm gonna show you a Reno Nine One One clip. So they did a remake, or it's just new season? Yeah, they did a remake. Oh, not a remake. It's the same characters. I don't know what you say. A reboot. Barrel turn. We're gonna, and then a hitch kick. We're gonna do that for Halloween. I'm thought. gonna be the cop, and he's gonna be the <laughs> cowboy. I don't think I've seen. Where it, it looks like a um, a DUI. She pulled him over. Oh, oh, fuck! That's from Reno Nine One One. I know, I didn't know that bump, either. Step, bump, 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 step, bump, step, bump, bump, five, six, seven, eight. Kickball change, hitch kick, and then if you did like a a barrel turn, and, and then a <laughs> yeah. I didn't know you were such a good dancer. Only uh, when I'm drunk. I'm Only drunk. when I'm drunk. <laughs> ah. Up against the vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> That is funny. That's really funny. I can't believe they rebooted. It feels like The Office a little bit, but like, I was gonna say it feels like Parks and Rec. Oh, I yeah, love yeah. Parks and Rec. Me too, because I watch television. <laughs> I love cinema. Have you listened to that entire R. Kelly? Oh, you're talking about the um, the trapped in my closet. Yeah, you haven't listened to that? No, only only the parodies. The parodies are great. The regular one is insane. He's never listened to R. Kelly trapped in the closet. Holy shit. That's an experience. Really? Oh, yeah. Don't listen to them. Am I being gaslit? No, no, no. <laughs> no, I have no I'm idea not, what you're talking about. I'm not We're advocating, advocating for, for R. Kelly's, Kelly's music or, or him. any of his actions. I As, can't tell if you guys are meaning it's good. It's, it, no, you, it's an experience. It's an experience. It is just like, I, I, how do you even describe it? It is just like- You a, don't describe it. You just go back in time and put it on. Yeah. You can't, you can't listen to it now because you can't, you know- Peas on kids or whatever, but so thank you guys for listening. Um, <laughs> Mariah has checked out Pan Express. Um, buy oh, uh, buy the merch shopdropouts.com. And wait, what else should we say? Follow Heath and Mariah. Oh, yeah, Yay, watch unfiltered. Thank you. thank you, dude. There you go. They already do. There's no way they're on this like for the first time. They've never been like, oh, uh, you, you, might, no, you never you'd know. Be surprised. Well, I've never surprised my whole life. So, um, if you stay till the end, I w- what should they DM me? Um, picture of a bulldog english bulldog Aww. please thank you uh, i love you guys so much it means the world to me that you even listen to this podcast we love you more and um i'm trying to hit 10 million followers on <laughs> um, instagram because <laughs> <laughs> see ya bye see you guys my milk sh- oh i thought it was my milkshake bring another oh, to y'all and they're like it's better than yours damn right it's better than yours Thanks guys for coming on. Hey, thanks for having us.